What's going on? My name is Jason Anderson. You may know me from G Style Magazine or the newer property I'm trying to kick off your connected family. Today I'm out in our backyard on a June day after a long period of waiting and stopping and going. I want to talk about geothermal and dandelion energy. Yes, it definitely was a long time coming and now I'm here. But what exactly is geothermal energy and how can it heat and cool your home? Okay, what if I told you instead of using fuel oil or natural gas to heat your home, you can use what's direct right now in your backyard. Geothermal systems use the differences in temperature to transfer heat between your home and the earth. See, just five feet below the ground is always a constant temperature. And what geothermal does is tap into that to heat and cool your home. Now it does this in two parts. First is a heat pump that sits on in the inside of your house, usually taking the place of your traditional furnace. And then there's what's called ground loops or buried pipe systems that circulate a heat transfer fluid. Using these two systems, they can pull heat up during the winter time to, to heat your home or during the summer pull hot air right below out your house into the ground dust circulating cool air um, during the summertime. Now the first part of the installation is of course the drilling but that's not where we begin. Usually in phase one dandelion team member will do a site survey a local installer will visit your home, take some measurements, and design a system that fits just your home just right. Then we come to what's called the installation of the ground loops. And that's what's taking place right now, as you see in front of you. They'll coordinate with the driller to install one or two ground loops. Now for my home, they install two ground loops, or remember, buried pipe systems, and two sections in my backyard, both going to about 300 to 350 feet once this was done this is what is used to exchange the heat between the ground and the dandelion air which is the unit that will ultimately take place of your traditional furnace once it's all said and done now before I continue some of you may be asking well I mentioned dandelion energy but who exactly is dandelion energy Sure, there is a number of contractors who can design and install a geothermal HVAC system for you. How I found Dandelion was a little bit different. I got a pamphlet in the mail and I um, did some research. Turns out Dandelion Energy was actually a company within Google. It was in Google's X Lab, which is where they do the R&D for those moonshot ideas and then Dandelion Energy got spun out into its own company. Now, if you know me and you've been watching anything I've put online for a long time now, you know I'm Team Google. So anything Google related is always a fascination to me. So the more I looked up information about Dandelion Energy, the more I became fascinated with it. Since I brought my home, I was already looking for a way to get off of fuel oil. The inconvenience of having to go into the basement, check to see if I had enough, scheduling trucks to deliver oil, scared about running out of oil during the winter. These are things that I just didn't see I want to deal with long term. Long term, it wasn't sustainable for me. So I was looking for ways to get off of oil and to do something different. So when I heard of Dandelion Energy, it just made sense. Renewable energy, no more trucks to call no more scheduling of fuel oil, a renewable closed looped system that constantly circulates itself. What more could I ask for? This was why I reached out to Dandelion and decided this is what I wanted for my home. Okay, so we're now on to part two trenching this is probably the messiest part of the whole installation once they put the two ground loops into the hole now they come back with a trenching machine to now 
carve out a path from those two holes which if you just notice right beneath the tool going in there's two little cables looking like wires to get the ground those are what's the end result of the, uh, the drilling part so now they have to actually trench a path from those points to the foundation part of my essentially basement where they'll connect that to the inside of my house excavation is like I said the messy part because after all that is done they're going to have to put the dirt back in if you had a nice lawn they're gonna bring it back to what they call rough grade be sure to check your contract on that because rough grade is not going to be how you remember it it's going to look rough um, they may come back and do it purely leveled in my case it was still really muddy that's what they said they had to come back there was a little issue with that once it finally dried out enough for them to come back and then some kind of frustrations and confusions there so my advice to you is if they can finish the job the same day before, they, before that team leaves have them do so but it's going to go back to a rough grade and essentially it's going to be ready for you to do a little quick video on um, landscaping trenching and now they're clicking the piping so i'm just going to show you what that trenching in my backyard looks like let's have a look over here a little water down there but they took the original bore holes that they put in there and started connecting the piping to it trying to fall myself but this is interesting once they finish here they're gonna put this in the waterfall about the first part that's the 350 foot holes in my backyard a lot of that connection goes around my backyard comes to what you see here in my basement behind me over here we have what are called the geothermal, geothermal ground loops one supply coming in one supply going back out in a constant loop but where all the magic happens is here this is the dandelion air unit this, is, this replaced my old furnace, and now instead of burning oil to combustion to burn and create heat, this just transfers heat from the ground below up into the house here. So this is the end result of a long process from contract to drilling to trenching to setting this all up. And right now it's pumping out very nice AC, something I didn't have when I moved into this house. I already had the ductwork and the oil furnace for forced heat air, but never a central air, air conditioning. Geothermal energy with Dandelion does both. It can both heat and cool my home. So not only do I get heat for the winter now, time, I now get the benefit of cool air in the summer. But let's also talk about one thing. Bear with me and put the camera and bring you around. As we take a trip off, not only does it heat and cool my home, but you also get a preheated 50, well for me, 50 gallon water tank. So what it does, it takes the excess heat from the system, dumps it into this tank you see here, 
So this is already warmed water. And what this does is take that water and dump it into my existing propane furnace, I mean propane water heater, and it makes this work just a little bit less harder because it doesn't have to take cold water and make it hotter. It can take warm instead and then bring that to the temperature we need. So I'm hoping to save money not only on the fact that I've gotten rid of all of my oil bill costs, but hopefully I can stretch out that propane cost too as now as well, since I don't have to maybe do as many deliveries to keep that propane tank pumping. So we finally reached the last stage. This one took the longest to kind of complete, though not the fault of dandelion energy. Right as we was about to hit this last phase, the world kind of got the coronavirus. Um, due to New York State pause order, the work had to stop and we had to pretty much wait until that pause order was lifted. So what was supposed to be finished in April just got finished in June. So we didn't really get a chance to experience the heat. So we'll be waiting for that come this winter. But since this time last year, I had no centralized AC and pretty much broke down and brought one, at least one window AC unit for my master bedroom. Now, this summer, we get to experience centralized AC. And man, I tell you, that is a joy and a pleasure to have. So you kind of saw the end result. You know what it looks like. This is just the process of that last phase. Here they took out my old furnace, put in the geothermal dandelion air, connected the, the cables together, did some electrical work, and just pretty much brought it all together. So I'm gonna stop talking. My name is Jason Anderson, G Style Magazine, your connected family, and this is geothermal installation brought to you by Dandelion Energy. Take care guys.